Hi, my name is Hugo Diaz and I'm going to teach you how to create a thread and post in the thread on Blackboard today. Uh, we're going to begin by going to the university's website, which is where I'm at right now. And I'm going to go ahead and enter Blackboard. Let's go ahead and put in our net IDs and password. And here we go. Um, my section looks a lot different than your section, but normally you see all your classes right here. And go ahead and click the course that you want to submit to. And more often than not, a show will look similar to this. It could be a little bit different, but everything you need will be over here on the left side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Discussions. It may say Discussion Board on yours. A few variety of names have been used before, but normally they'll let you know where the forum is. So let's go ahead and click Discussions. And here I have a few different forums. I'm going to submit a response in the uh, week four IGN layouts thoughts. So let's go ahead and uh, click this forum. And here are different threads. These are other people who have already posted their opinions. I can actually click them to read what they thought. See, this old Hugh Diaz was like, it's all right. You can uh, respond, you can quote. Uh, before I reply, I'm going to teach you how to actually make one. So let's go back to the forum by clicking back. So here's the forum again. If you're the first one posting, it's going to be completely blank. So in order to post to this forum, we click create thread right here. And this allows us to submit a response. So my subject's going to be uh, my picture is better than yours. And I'll actually respond with a picture. Hello. My picture is better than yours. Hugo. So that's good enough right there if it was uh, something where you just wanted to share a few words or response to another classmate. If you want to respond with an image, we uh, select this little picture icon right here. You just click one time and you'll get a few different uh, situations here. You can type in an image URL. That's if you have an image from a website. Make sure it's the actual image URL and it ends in an image extension such as JPEG or PNG, maybe even GIF. Uh, there's a few varieties out there these days. Uh, or you can click Browse My Computer. I'm going to click Browse My Computer. And I'm just going to pick uh, something off my desktop. Let's just go for uh, uh, Busy Bee. Open. And there it is. You can give it a description if you want. Busy Bees. And I'm going to give it a title. Those bees. Not completely necessary. Description is probably good, though, for uh, closed caption purposes and uh, other uh, classmates who may need assistive technology. Uh, once we're done, we just click insert, and there it is. If we click this little, uh, these little dots right here, these lines, you can actually drag your posting area up and down so you can get a better idea of what you're seeing. Um, and if you click your picture, you actually have, you get these four corners to uh, resize accordingly. Um, oh, if for whatever reason you can't see all these buttons, it's because they're hidden. You click this, these arrows over here to expose them. If uh, It's possible that by default all you can see is this text material. So click these two chevrons if you need to be able to see it. Uh, and that's about it for posting pictures. Uh, it's the same method if you're ever posting a link or a video. Um, that might be a little bit different, but it's generally the same uh, style. So we created a thread, and then we can click Submit. And there's our thread. My picture's better than yours, amongst everybody else's. There it is. And if you ever wanted to, you can always reply and say, I agree, your picture is better than mine. Psych. And we submit our response. I hope that was really helpful and in no time you should be able to post your own threads with the responses and have a pretty fun time on Blackboard. Have a good day and take it easy.